Assalamualaikum everyone. Today I'm going to talk about an hypocalcemia. But before discussing the hypocalcemia, I'm going to discuss that how the calcium is regulated in the body. There are two main things which regulate the calcium in the serum. One is the parathyroid hormone, the other is vitamin D. So when the the normal range of calcium in the serum is 2.1 to 2.6 millimole per liter. When this level fall down below 2.1, it will be considered as hypocalcemia. Now, how to diagnose the hypocalcemia? The hypocalcemia can be diagnosed by three things. One is by history, other is by examination, and the third one is uh, investigation. In history, the patient will uh, uh, give, give the history of symptoms, while on examination, you may find the tetanus. In an investigation, you will find the uh, low calcium level in the serum. So now, uh, what are the signs and symptoms of hypocalcemia? Numbness is uh, one of the most important symptoms. The second one is the muscle spasm. The, the first is the atrocious sign, the other is shostic sign. Atrocious sign, the patient uh, rest will be contract by cupping the poor arm and on shostic sign the fashion uh, facial muscle will be contracted on tapping the facial muscle the third one is the scissor and the fourth one is the confusion and uh, the cardiac arrest may be occur uh, as a result of hypocalcemia so these are the signs which uh, these are the signs and symptoms which is occur as a result of hypocalcemia now what are the causes of hypocalcemia hypoparathyroidism is the most important cause in which the pth production become decrease and the hypoparathyroidism may be due to the removal of the thyroid gland in which the parathyroid gland is also removed the second most common cause is decreased vitamin D level. The third one cause is the kidney failure. The kidney perform two important functions for calcium regulation. One is uh, the one fun the first function it uh, convert the uh, vitamin D into active into its active form. The second most important function is uh, absorb the calcium. Uh, through the uh, through the kidney tubules. The fourth one cause of hypocalcemia is the pancreatitis. While the fifth one causes the rhabdomyolysis and the. Uh, now, how to treat the hypocalcemia? The hypocalcemia uh, uh, treatment depends upon uh, the severity of the hypocalcemia. If the hypocalcemia is severe, then intravenous calcium chloride is uh, recommended. If it is not severe, then vitamin D, calcium and magnesium supplements are recommended. And if the hypocalcemia is due to hypoparathyroidism, then hydrochlorothiazide, salt restriction and phosphate binders are recommended. So now what are the complications that can arise as a result of hypocalcemia? The most important complication uh, and the laryngospasm. And the second one is the cardiac arrhythmia. So this was all about on hypocalcemia. For more videos, subscribe, like and share.